Okay. All right. Well, thankfully, I don't have to do too much research, uh, especially since this thing is not launching for another less than four days. So this project I actually got off of Murdoch DeFi. I believe Yada Crypto also is covering this on his YouTube. So uh, this is a supposed NFT project that's combining both a you know minor project along with their actual NFTs. So let's just take a look. They're using blocks and builders as their little theme. Uh, and this is obviously on AVAX. So let's see, you may, you're in 7% a day and the dev tax is 2%. All right, fantastic. All right, looks pretty nice, so that's good. Uh, this is their NFT page. So if you go up here, my camera's kind of covering, but it's this link up here, all right? FireEyes NFTs, when you click it, it takes you to this. All right, and you get this little pop-up. So I don't know, you can take a look if you want. I don't know, I don't do NFTs. Uh, I just know that they're important, all right? And I'm glad that other people do it, all right? So I don't have to do it. It's exactly like guns. I'm glad that other people, are assuming they're nice or good people-ish, I'm glad that they have guns, but I don't want them myself, you know? Like here in America, anyway. Uh, okay, so... Let me see. All right, so here's their breakdown of the total number of NFTs they're planning to ship out, I assume. Uh, here are the costs of these. Okay, yeah. Because obviously this isn't launched yet, so you can't buy them just yet. Mint the any type... Uh, bad grammar. Mint the any type of... I'm just going to call it future land and become an early citizen of FireEyes community. The FireEyes citizen first gain is the daily 1% increase in the valuation for the land they own. Uh, okay. What sustains that? To make the FireEyes community bigger, the realtors of FireEyes will be able to get 5% referral or for each new citizen, even if they do not own a land in... Okay, so this is their referral program for their NFTs. Rewards are paid directly to your wallet. Referral rewards. Okay. First citizens of future marketplace is open. Uh, right. The future of Inno Realm opens. Okay. So blah blah blah. All right. So there's really not much here. Uh, this does look pretty decent though. So you know this does look legit so far. So I don't really know what these NFTs really do. And obviously I'm not going to do much research, so, but whatever. I mean, whatever gimmick people come up with is, you know, whatever. There's a whitelist. Now, oh, great, now this thing's... Okay, let's see. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. All right. Uh, blah, 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 blah. In order to be the first city applied for sale, in total there are 5,000 lands for sale. Here's their breakdowns based on the governance of the future. I mean, no building site. If you own one land from future, even if you can't build it out, you are a citizen of this country. Okay, here's the turn of the sale. To reward, yeah, you said not molesting for you. Yeah, but what sustains that, right? I could sell this cup of gab, this gab mug for $15, and for each day that you don't buy it, I'll increase the sale price on this by 1%. I mean, that doesn't, that literally doesn't do anything, because what if you don't give a shit about this cup? Or worse, you just buy an alternative. But yeah, I mean, at least they're trying to do something here, so whatever. Uh, okay. Phase three will be in the future. Okay, so the good news is, okay, they're mentioning the farmhouse.io. The majority of funds raised from the initial sale loan in the future will go through an American Post of Plow. The, 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 the large, second largest expand, expense will go toward the middle. So, all right, okay, reward distribution. FireEye, with FireEyes, we have linked the two ROI platforms named FireEyes Meyer and the Farhound to make the above ROI sustainable. We decided to add 10% fee in FireEyes Land, 10% fee in the farmhouse on each mint in the thing. Okay, so they definitely, okay, so that's interesting. These guys either run the farmhouse.io or they have a partnership with them. 
And I think this 10% tax only applies if you're minting the NFTs. Okay. All right, so blah, 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 blah. All right, fine. Yeah, I don't really have to care. All right, so, so this is a pretty interesting project. For now, I'm going to assume it's a partnership because the graphical art style of this looks completely different. Also, the farmhouse just doesn't really come off as an NFT type of project. And right? they're just a minor project from what I can tell. You know, but with that being said, what's good about this? They have good partnerships. They do seem to have graphical ability, so I, will, I would be willing to believe they're NFTs. The only thing that I, I'm a, that's a problem is what is the utility? Because... It's a pretty big, difficult thing to create like an actual metaverse, right? Because you're basically building an MMORPG, right? Uh, combined with uh, Second Life. If you remember that really, really old game called Second Life, that's exactly what metaverse and NFT stuff is today. So, I personally will not be investing in this uh, project. Um, but with that being said, this could actually work. Uh, you know, because... Right now, we really need an AVAX mine that looks sustainable. I mean, Ruby mine has, has, has lost like 2,000. Actually, I already am on the uh, AVAX. Yeah, so, I don't know. Once it blows, if it drops below 20,000 and then definitely drops below 19,000, I mean, yeah, might need to start looking for a replacement. So maybe this could work, right? Because... Because I'm willing to believe that they do, because this right here already tells me that, okay, maybe they actually do know how to code, all right, and they can design, like, these uh, NFT-looking things. So, I don't know, I'll, I'll wait and see. I'll wait and see. But anyway, I want to keep doing video, today's video short, and, um, well, there's a fax here. Uh, selling habits, yeah, this is bullshit. Selling habits affect rewards, yeah, okay, sure. Uh, da -da. we do not guarantee seven percent a day. It is up to seven percent. Yeah, that that does make. That, yeah, whatever. Okay, but yeah, that does make sense because I mean we've all seen that. Like you don't actually get the max percent rewards. You know, right now my lucky cats, the ones that are failing, Binance Coin, um, Binance Dollars on its way to failing, and Phantom. You know the rewards are getting less and less. Right now I've been pulling out a lot of money. So, and I think they'll still be around for a while, especially once the contract level drops to a large amount, and then people probably just stop doing the project. Then I can eventually get my dough back. So, all right, anyway, uh, check out FireEyes. It's not launching for basically another four days. So, uh, but if I, if again, if I for some reason decide to invest in this project, I'll add this to the playlist if I think it's good. And it's going to be entirely up to their NFT thing. Are they full of shit or are they the real deal? Because again, literally everybody, every new freaking project claims to be metaverse, pro, metaverse, NFT makers, and all this bullshit. And I'm just like, okay, whatever. All right. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm really skeptical about Hundred Days Ventures as well. Like they might be the kind of same way. Because again, that announcement was very disappointing. Like right. you're hype up all this shit to the point where oh yeah you're you're partnering with a triple A big studio oh, oh okay well it's this shitty little company it's like I mean I, I mean not even do hundred days ventures at all right I don't know I have until tomorrow to really figure it out but I'm definitely not gonna put a lot of money into it that's for sure so because it's basically just another tit uh titan or sphere fork right uh, uh the, so it's like okay. Anyway, that, that's about that. Anyway, check out FireEyes in four days if you're interested. They're on AVAX. And the gap is 5%, so it's really extreme, right? That's my cutoff, right? So it's barely in the whatever. But if they can pull off the NFT stuff, yeah, I mean, they, could, they should easily be able to grow this miner. So, I don't know. I will, I will, I'll worry about it later, right? I got four days to worry about it. You know, we'll see. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. It will be... Oh yeah, I don't normally cover drip forks, and I don't really care to do them. So, but the new, but apparently this drip fork tsunami seems to be going everywhere. So, might as well farm some of that. We'll see how it goes. All right, like, subscribe, share this video, grow the channel, and again, thank you to all the new people who are subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.